Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Chris with Drift HQ. And I'm Cricket with Drift HQ. And this is the Drift HQ build series for Juan Barrion's 2020 Formula Drift Pro One car, C7 Z06. So we just got back from powder coat and we are reassembling the rear end of this beautiful masterpiece. Chris, I'm I'm so excited. I I'm so it. I love it too. Oh man. The color of the green here almost matches like the monster in the in the livery colors pretty well. So I'm pretty happy about that. We got all of our holes and stuff drilled out because the powder coat builds up in some of the little thresholds and little areas. So we had to clearance a few things and got everything fitted back up and I mean just look at it. Fucking mint. So we uh, have everything somewhat assembled right now. We've been kind of using throw together hardware that we found around the shop to try and, you know, just get everything to where it needs to sit. So now we're going to go to the hardware store and get everything nice matching bolts. So if it ever comes to disassembly, at least everything will be the same size wrench. And that way, you know exactly what it is you're taking off. You don't have it like when we took it apart where you got a 15 on one side and a 10 on the other side. Because when you're on the track trying to fix something, obviously time is a big factor for us. I'm gonna go find some hardware to fit this pipe. Give him the pipe. How are we doing? A few moments later. $147 and an hour later, we got all of our hardware. All of it. I got a bunch back here. Our dad's gonna be so mad we spent so much money today. Answer. My piece only cost $3. I'm just saying. I'll be more mad if the car falls apart. So now that we have everything finalized for all the hardware, locations, everything like that, we can put our partition in and finalize it using some of our little magic orange thread locker stuff. This stuff's great for stuff that you're gonna have to remove, but stuff that sees a lot of vibration like these aluminum panels, they'll keep anything from shaking out, bolts backing out by themselves. Because once our fuel cell and stuff is in place, most of these bolts here aren't gonna be very easy to get to. So try and tackle all this right now before we start our full reassembly of the back end. Which is right Today. there. Right there, and she's beautiful. Beautiful. Are 
We are working on doing some sleeves for the back bash bar and radiator support. All right, so we got all of our guys put in. It's cooled down. And as you can see, if you go all the way through there, you can see where they did it to the cage as well. So we followed suit, and we're going to put this back in and fit it and then drill our holes bigger on our bash bar. All right, we got all of our bolt holes drilled. We got one more to do, and we're going to tap it. Drill and tap it. Drill and tappy. Now they ask for a 3 8 inch, minimum of 3 8 grade five. Uh, we went with a half inch bolt and grade 10 point, what, 10.9? Yeah. yeah, overkill. You know, we don't do the bare minimum ever. Except for when it comes to, you know, wearing pants at work, because Chris doesn't ever. Oh, shh. All right, so we got all of our bolts attached, half inch, grade 10.9. We went over and above what they were supposed to. Those are our top straps for our fuel cell cradle. Um, we have the other green part right here. You're gonna go together nice and neat. Chris just did a plate on the front side to do his wiring. So our bulkhead as they call them. So he has his bulkhead bolted in so we are ready for that he's just gonna mount these wires up to the firewall to get them out of the way and then we're gonna put the fuel cell in bolt it down and then start attaching everything back here in the rear we're gonna tie up the rear end today of this car and move to the front hopefully tomorrow hopefully move tomorrow hopefully That's assuming our engine and stuff shows up but we've got no engines ted but we do have a Big old pro charger sitting over there. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty excited about getting stuck on that motor. Yeah, but we can leave the motor first. So, hey. yeah, semantics, right? All right, guys. So, we're just wrapping up the tail end of Juan's um, radiator mount, fuel cell cradle, fuel cell. Chris has all of his wires um, tied in in the back, nice and tucked away. Everything's uh, sealed up. Everything's sealed. The firewall is sealed. The only thing we have left to do is put the lights on tomorrow. And uh, he has to wire the fans. And once we get the rest of the fuel cell stuff, like the Nuke. Nuke performance drop-in. Um, it's an internal fuel surge tank. So we run in that and then we can get all the positions and where we're gonna route our hoses and stuff. So the last little bit we have to do for our fan now that we have everything else in place is build some shrouding so that we, all the airflow from the back window can get directed at our fan. We're at our, yeah, at our fans. So those are gonna go from here up. Basically, uh, in a nutshell, gonna go right there. 